All right, so let's take a look at how we get Remind working for you. Free version, get some information, get some listings, um, all right here offered to you by the Smart MLS. So let's dive into the MLS here. Um, I just signed into Smart MLS. I'm at my dashboard here. And what you're gonna see in the middle of the screen uh, is Remind, uh, this blue icon here. So we go ahead and click on that and it's gonna bring us right over to the Remind tab. So it opens up a new tab for us. Uh, come to the search bar here and we're gonna see a map. And on this map now we get to start actually picking it, picking up and putting in some filters. So let's just go ahead, uh, top of my head, Wallingford, grab Wallingford, now it puts a border around and it's gonna say, now I'm only looking at properties here inside of, of Wallingford. And so what I wanna do is click on status because I'm, I'm only looking for homes that are they're off markets, they've expired, they've canceled. I don't really care about the ones that are on market um, or what have you. Maybe we can look at the closed ones, right? We'll, we'll put the closed ones in there as well. And so now the search continues, you'll see the results continue to modify. Now, right now I'm only using the free version. Inside of the upgraded paid version, you're gonna have a lot more options, but I'm gonna show you how to get around a couple of those. So right now we're showing over 15,000 results. Let's come over here to the left-hand side and we're gonna see a bunch of different filters that we can use. When I click on property values, it's gonna tell me I need to upgrade. Same thing with home equity. But I do know that I can select ownership time. We know looking at the roller coaster of ownership, most people move within five to seven years. So I wanna see everybody that has owned their home for more than five years. So let's change that. Now we're not gonna see anyone that's closed in the last five years. Awesome, now we can look at sell score. We have low, medium, high. Obviously we want the people that are high sell scores, right? They're looking at hundreds of different data points and to see whether or not they're gonna make a move within the next six months based on big data. So now we went from 15,000 to 111 results. Now we can take those results and export them and start going after them. Now we could go a little bit further, all right? So absentees upgrade. Can we do it in the filter when we export it? Absolutely. Uh, maybe we can do building types. Or maybe I only want single family homes and we can apply that filter. So now we went from a thousand to 66. So we're just, we're limiting it down so we know exactly who to focus in on. Now, again, there's a few more filters down here, but let's go ahead and take these 66 people that we have and let's export them. So I'm gonna hit select all, and I've selected all 66 and the cart icon on the top right pops up. Now, when I click on that, sometimes you may get, you need to upgrade. And that's because the free version only allows you to have 400 total in your cart. So every once in a while, you're just gonna wanna delete the old information and bring in your new, because once we export, it's not really needed anymore, right? So let's uh, select or create a cart. So let's go ahead and name a new cart. So new Wallingford search. Add 66 properties to the cart. Perfect, so now I've taken all 66 of those, added them into my cart. So let's go ahead and export them. So I'll come over here on the left-hand side, we'll see carts. I'll click on that. I'm going to select my new Wallingford search. I'm going to select all and export. I'm gonna get the ability to name the CSV, Wallingford, include all of the columns. For now, that's fine. You can, you can uh, change that and customize it in the future. And let's go ahead and export. Once the export is ready, you'll see it pop up here at the top. It says download. Let's go ahead and download this file as a CSV right to our computer. Once we have that, we can open it up right here in Excel. And we're gonna see all kinds of information. So we have property information, addresses, we have uh, property values in here. So estimated value is here. Then right next to it says absentee. So if you only wanted, let's say absentee people, you can sort by that and see those as well. 